Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Endpoint Deployment. In this short video, we will highlight some of the key functionality and features surrounding Carbonite Endpoint's deployment capabilities while highlighting its benefits, so let's go ahead and get started. When signing up for Carbonite Endpoint, companies have the flexibility of using Carbonite's hosted offering, their own Azure instance, or on-premises. This allows companies the flexibility to utilize Carbonite Endpoint in a way that uniquely suits them and their requirements, which is especially useful in some regulated industries. After the environment is ready, administrators will log into the Carbonite Endpoint dashboard. Nearly everything related to deployment is performed at the company level. The four main areas we're going to focus on are company details, deployment, LDAP synchronization, and single sign-on. The company details section is a great place to get a quick glance of the overall number of users and devices currently being managed. Also, this is where you can perform bulk imports of users and devices. This is especially beneficial when deploying to a large environment and you'll not be using the deployment or the LDAP synchronization sections as it allows many devices and users to be imported from a CSV file. We even provide examples of the various options that can be supplied during the import. The next section is the deployment tab. This section is most widely used during deployment. In this section you create activation codes for the agents to use when they're installed and there are several options beyond that for greater flexibility which we'll look at in a second. Once these codes are created you can utilize them along with an agent installer and a deployment system like Active Directory to install and configure the agent automatically to hundreds or thousands of machines at once. This is a great benefit for the IT team as they don't need to manually install the application on many machines which saves time and money while making the deployment easier. When creating the code we have three options available and each one has their own benefit too. One of the options will allow for the automatic creation of users and devices. The second will only automatically create devices but not users as the users may have already been presented utilizing LDAP synchronization. The third option will create all the devices under one user, which allows for easier management of publicly used devices. These three options allow you the flexibility to deploy Carbonite Endpoint in the way that benefits the organization the most. The third section is LDAP synchronization. This is often used with the deployment section, but it's not required. The Carbonite LDAP synchronization section is the ability to automatically create and disable users based on Active Directory. Simply point Carbonite Endpoint to the LDAP server, which is typically a domain controller, and all the users discovered are automatically created, thus eliminating manual steps, bulk imports, and automatic user creation. However, the primary benefit is when employees leave the organization. In this case, once the user is disabled in Active Directory, they will automatically be disabled in Carbonite Endpoint, preventing departing employees from accessing data, which can protect the company from malicious activities. The final section is Single Sign-On. Single sign-on is the ability for Carbonite Endpoint to redirect password authentication to another service. We support all SAML 2.0 authentication applications like Azure AD, Active Directory Federation Services, Okta, and so on. This eliminates the headaches involved with users having to remember multiple passwords and allows for easier and more secure management of users. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Endpoint deployment. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day.